All right, as we left off, we had just finished up number one. Oh, my screen's going crazy again. We just finished up number one. Ah, a little touch this morning. Let me scroll up here. Okay, so we're down to numbers two, three, and four. So directions state, look at the green sides of the polygon. Tell if they appear to be intersecting, perpendicular, or parallel. Write all the words that describe the sides. So we're paying attention. Are they intersecting? perpendicular, and parallel. If you don't remember what those three words are, pause the video, go back to our first one, go to the intersecting, perpendicular, or parallel sides, play the video again, or just go back to your book and read it. Just try to remember what each one stands for. So number two, we're looking at the left side, which is green, and the right side. So is this, are they intersecting? Are they perpendicular or parallel? Go ahead and pause the video, write the answer, and then see what we came up with. If you answered parallel, that is correct. I'm not going to take my um, pen and write the word parallel. It's going to take me forever and it'll be really sloppy. So just, just trust me on this one. These are parallel. Even though they're slanted, they're going to go on forever and never touch. Number three. We have the left side and the right side. And are they intersecting, perpendicular, or parallel? Pause it. Answer. If you answered intersecting this time, that is correct. Now, when we think of an intersection, we think of them crossing. But they are crossing right here. These lines would go on forever and actually cross. Now, it is not perpendicular because this is not a right angle. Number four, we have this side with the top side. Go ahead and pause the video. Answer. These two lines would be intersecting because they are crossing and perpendicular because they are forming a right angle. What's a little bit tricky here is that we don't see the box because the book does not want to give away the answer. But whenever you see that L, that's a perfect L, or the perfect corner of a square, that is a right angle. So we have parallel, intersecting, intersecting, and perpendicular. So now we're going to work on our own a little bit. I'm going to give you a little bit more time, because it's the exact same things that we've already done. So for 5, 6, and 7, you're going to write intersecting, perpendicular, or parallel, just like we did above there. And then underneath it, we're going to get a little bit more complicated. So you know what? Just think of it. Let's go ahead and pause that video and answer 5, 6, and 7. And then I'll go over them quickly before we go over the next part. So it says, look at the green sides of the polygon. Tell if they appear to be intersecting, perpendicular, or parallel. Write all the words that describe the sides, or just what we did. So go ahead and pause it, answer 5, 6, and 7. Number 5, the top and the bottom are definitely parallel. They're going to go on forever and never touch. Number 6, these are intersecting and perpendicular, because this is a perfect L right there in the corner. And over here, this corner of this pentagon, these are just intersecting. Just intersecting. For the next part here, I'm going to explain it, and you're going to work on your own for a little bit. It's use pattern blocks A through E, so A, B, C, D, and E. And you're going to sort them. You're going to sort the pattern blocks by the type of sides. So you're going to have to look. All right, so which blocks have intersecting sides? So, for, so if you think block A has intersecting sides, you would put just A on it. If you think B has intersecting sides, you would put B. All right, so for each one, it's going to have a couple of different letters. You can use the letters more than once. So A might be used in all of them, or maybe it's not. I'm not going to tell you. All right, so you're going to sort them. So read 8, 9, 10, 11. So which blocks have parallel sides? Which blocks have perpendicular sides? Which blocks to have neither parallel nor perpendicular? It'll take you a few moments. Go ahead and pause it. 
I'm actually not going to go over the answers to this on the screencast. We're going to go over those actually in person. All right. And then if you get finished with that, 12 and 13, on the box at the right, how many pairs of edges are perpendicular line segments? All right, so think about the entire box. All right, so now we're talking about a three-dimensional shape. And number 13, can the same two lines be parallel, perpendicular, and intersecting? Hmm, explain your answer. And later on in the lesson, we will click on that, and we will watch Mr. Uh, Professor Berger possibly answer that. Um, we, are, we are out of time for this. You guys will be coming into the classroom soon, making lots of noise. So uh, hope this helped, and we will continue the lesson in person. Thank you.